Hello Aquarius. So this is a, a very interesting um, image that I'm getting for you guys. Uh, what I do see is um, this ability to put yourself in another person's shoes. Um, I feel like a lot of the times too, you know, you, you look at other people's lives, you look at uh, situations that other people find themselves in and you're just like, well, if they did such and such, they wouldn't be in this predicament. Well, if they had thought it through, they wouldn't be in this predicament. So I feel like a lot of you, um, you're, you're, it's almost like you're very good at rationalizing and giving advice to people on what they should do. And you're very good at, you know, thinking of, like detaching yourself and giving somebody very, very objective advice. And um, I do sense that, you know, you're, you're objective enough, you're detached enough so that you can see the forest for the trees. But the past few months, I've been seeing that, you know, you, you have this really, really um, strong heart chakra activation that I felt happening for you guys, where you start to feel a very strong sense of uh, empathy for other people, even people that you don't know, like random strangers, or people that you see, uh, you, you see how their lives have turned out, and then you feel really bad for, for, for them. And um, so it, it takes me to this point right now that I'm reading for you, and I feel like the energy for the next two weeks is greatly centered around um, being able to see where other people are coming from, being able to see what people have been through, what their life experience was like, and, and how it got them to this place that they are right now. And so I feel like you're able to not only uh, mentally put yourself in somebody else's shoes to give them advice, but emotionally, it's almost as if you're in their body, living their lives, and you're able to give them very solid assessment, insights, and advice that comes from the heart of the human experience. And I feel like that's a new change. I feel like it's a major change for Aquarius people in general because, you know, you're not used to working from this uh, space of, you know, the, that human um, the heart chakra, you're more like cerebral in your head and, and, and you're more like objective. But I feel that the energy you're embodying is greatly about empathy, sympathy, and uh, understanding, which is really good. Um, I kept mentioning that I feel like a lot of you have made great strides when it comes to inner work and um, emotional development. And I feel like that was a major theme throughout 2016. The lessons have been learned for many of you. And so because you're able to, you know, do a lot of inner work for yourself, you're able to like look at yourself too from a heart space and you're able to understand that, you know what, I made these decisions that weren't that great for me and I might have blamed the other party for how it turned out, but now you're starting to take ownership of it. Not that the other party wasn't at fault, but you know, it takes two to tangle. So you're starting to understand what you did that contributed to a certain situation and what they did that also as well contributed to the situation. And I feel like this sense of awareness is um, coming through in your relationships. And um, I feel like it's coming through with a coworker that you're dealing with, okay? So this is like somebody who's involved in your workplace. It could be a client uh, that might have been quite difficult in the past. It could be a coworker that you can't really see eye to eyes with. You have different values, you have different work ethics. And you're softening your approach when you're dealing with them because you're just like, I want harmony, I want peace. Uh, I don't wanna, you know, um, suck up to them but I know that we're not seeing eye to eye and um, communication has been a little bit uh, contentious in the past so I feel that you're softening up and you're either uh, giving them just you know the bare minimum to detach yourself or you are softening up when it comes to communicating with them and then for others of you this is coming through in your love sector um, as well with a specific love relationship so what I do have here is an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, and I have a water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. I do see a very strong, um, kind of like ride or die, a very strong soul connection that you have with another person 
where you understand where they're coming from. Uh, you both have been through quite a, a, a few emotional ordeals in your in their lives and also in your life, but not like together. You didn't experience the, the emotional upheaval, turmoil together. They experienced it in their past. You've experienced it in your past. And I feel like it's like two people coming together who wants to treat the uh, each other the right way, who are supposed to learn from each other to restore your faith and love, life and humanity. So that's what I'm, I'm seeing coming through here. Um, your financial situation for some of you, if there has been some type of legal entanglement, you're going to be able to untangle yourself. Okay. So it's, um, it's a very definitive, I, I see like some conclusion to some long standing legal issue, and it's just gonna, uh, untangle itself in a very clean way. It's not going to be a messy ordeal. It's just going to be very clean, very clear cut, very finalized and resolute. And then you just, you know, you're free. And then others of you, I do see some uh, court issues as well, like uh, paperwork, not so much court, but more like paperwork, I should say. Um, paperwork coming from, from an official channel to you. And I do see a lot of it being tax, a lot, uh, you know, taxes that you have to file, uh, paperwork you have to fill out, as well as um, paperwork coming through from official channels is what they're saying. So these are like official documents. Um, fill them out carefully. I don't see any uh, mistakes on your end. Just fill it out diligently, carefully. Make sure that you send them back to, you know, whoever the person is that you're supposed to send them to. And um, I do feel that, you know, for the past three months, for example, if there has been some tumultuous up and down type of energy, I feel that the, the best use of this time for the next two weeks is, you know, focusing on your career, focusing on your financial situation, getting things organized within your household as well. And um, thinking about the types of, well, for those who are dating, thinking about the types of qualities that you're going to need in a... Um, in a person in order for you to have a long-term relationships. Okay. So going back to what I mentioned before, um, I feel like, you know, a lot of the times, um, you feel like, Oh, I care about this person and we, they've been through a lot. And I just want to, I just want to, to, to take care of them. I just want to love them. And I just want to, you know, um, restore their faith or, or their, their lives. And you want to really think about that whole concept about, you know, power differential in a relationship, uh, a relationship go, you know, it's a, it's an equal exchange of energy. If one person is expending so much energy to fix the other person, that's not a good start to a relationship. Okay. No matter, like, no matter how big your heart is, um, you are humanitarians at heart. And I do feel that you, you, you feel bad for, you know, people in, in certain predicaments, you do feel it. You don't express it to people and people think you might be a little bit cold and aloof, but you do feel it on a very core level. However, when it comes to relationships, two people need to come together when they're whole. So seek for people, seek people who are whole in themselves, who are well adjusted, who are happy, who are content, who don't need fixing. Okay. So don't expend your energies uh, to projects, expend your energy to working on you, getting your financial situation in order, as well as um, focusing on practical responsibilities, you know, household duties, um, laundry. Um, I, I feel like getting your household in order, it, that's really important. But also focusing your energies on relationships that have long-term potential where both people contribute and one person is not fixing somebody else's broken wings, okay? Those are not good, stable relationships and that's not a good foundation for a relationship. Okay, so a, a, a little bit of a learning curve, but I feel like you're getting there. You're you're doing the whole, you know, process of elimination. And I feel like you are getting yourself back on track. Okay, Aquarius. So best of luck to you. I'll be back for the April reading. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.